Focus. Hello. Focus on me. Thank you. Wow. It is cold outside, folks. Ah. This is not fun. This is not fun at all. And that brings us to this week's tip. Uh, I'm gonna talk specifically about what we did for our chickens. This was uh, really just a spur of the moment. I'm sure many of you do it already for your chickens if you have them. If you don't, uh, think about it. Uh, if not, tell us what you do with your chickens because, you know, this is our first year with chickens. We don't know what we're doing. We're just figuring it out like y'all, except for y'all who already know and haven't figured out. In which case, I'm watching your videos. Thanks a lot. Oh, we got snow on the ground here still. I think the East Coast got hit pretty hard with some kind of cold snap. So snow's not really melting. Um, no big deal. We make do. But uh, what we noticed is we have a big coop, which is cool, but our chickens, chickens gotta come out. They like to roam around, do their own thing. Not only that, but they gotta get to their food. We don't like to keep their water and their food in the coop, uh, mainly because we try to keep the moisture out of there. So as much as we can get them out during the day, that's what we wanna do. Just gonna show you kind of what we do to help, help out our chickens. A while back we made a chicken tractor. I filmed some of it, I didn't film much of it. Once we got it built, we put it up next to the coop and I realized, all right, um, why don't we put a tarp over one side? And then on the other side, once it got even colder, well, it was getting windier actually, I decided to, to sort of wrap it in plastic. And uh, I'm pretty amazed at, at how it turned out and how our chickens are sort of loving it. Look at those guys in there. What are you doing guys? How's everybody doing? You liking it in there? I mean, they love it. It's like a chicken sauna in here. You stand out here and it's like, I don't know, it's like 15 degrees, 10 degrees, I don't know. The temperature's really been kind of jumping up and down, but you go in there and it's like 20 degrees hotter. Are you coming out to play? Look at you. She's a little upset with me right now. I've invaded her space. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's all right. What's that? Say hello. Subscribe to my channel. I am the chicken. It's actually been pretty great. Uh, the water doesn't really freeze in there. It's pretty nice. Uh, stays warm. It's about a 20 degree difference in there, which is pretty good. Um, I will say I'm gonna have to move it soon, just, just so we can get some clean, clean spaces. But other than that, it's pretty good. Huh. So, I guess that's my tip of the week. Uh, if you've got a chicken tractor, just drape some plastic over it and, um, you know, create a nice little warm haven. They still roam around. We've got a nice little spot for them. They just don't seem to leave. They just really like going in there. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's tip of the week. Uh, I sure hope it gets a little warmer. Courtney said it's supposed to hit 50 degrees next week. What, what's with that? That's crazy. I guess next week we'll uh, be running around in shorts. All right, give us a like, subscribe. See you in a little while. It's so cold out here, I've got icicles in my beard from my nose running. That's gross.